Hello everyone and welcome back to another Babbling Irons video with myself and Sloth today and looks like the negativity is starting to creep back in Sloth and this one is about Mubama who we've said on this channel we need to be giving more minutes and it's likely caused what's happened with the contract uh, extension now not happening. It looks like he's rejected a contract extension offer uh, from West Ham so if it does get to the end of the season he hasn't signed a new contract he's going to be a free agent and he's going to look elsewhere so pretty scary stuff because Mubama is clearly a talent. Um, he has been for the last couple of seasons. He's worked hard to get into that first team and, you know, Moyes made the decision in the summer to not loan him out because he wanted to integrate him more into the first team and give him minutes that way. It hasn't happened so far when there's probably been three or four really good opportunities to do it. So are you surprised at this news? That's, that's my first question to you, Slav. Are you surprised? Um... I'm disappointed. I'm not surprised. Um, it's one of those things that I think I, I kind of saw coming. Like, you know, the, the the guy's been kept on because he was told that he'd get to play. Um, and like we, so we've let Skamaka go, who, whether or not you think he was the right fit for us, like, you know, I personally think he was the right fit, but he was a fit goal scorer. And we're playing Danny Ings up top, who in our system just doesn't work. He's not goal scorer in our system. You know, he he is a poacher and, you know, his goals against Forest show that. Like, that's the type of goal he scores, his goal in Europe as well. But he cannot play in the system. And we look so toothless when he plays that it's so frustrating to see Mubama not even given minutes when, you know, essentially that, that would have been what he's told because I can't see any, any reason why over the past two to three years when let's face it, it would have been the perfect time for him to go out on loan, get minutes under his belt, maybe even, you know, as a youngster coming off the bench for a championship side like every so often it could have taught him a lot and yes playing in Europe would have been an experience for him but is it going to enrich his career or, or progress him as much as actually playing senior football week in week out and I'm just really disappointed by it yeah. I think it's it's the only the only sort of um saving grace is that none of the academy players we've let go recently have gone on to do much but is that think, yeah. more of a damning statement about us or is it the players themselves yeah i think with with mubama's situation it's i think the most frustrating thing for most west ham fans is that he was kept this summer to play um for Moyes and you know get minutes in these competitions whether it be Carabao Cup, Europa uh, Conference, uh, Europa League, sorry, uh, or even the Premier League coming on. But I think because we have Danny Ings and because he was signed last January by David Moyes and because he's on such high wages, it's almost kind of playing the hand of you, you have to play him because you've brought him in for such large wages that you're almost forced to do it. And then uh, as a result of that, Mubama's then suffering uh, down the pecking order and you know, we see about the the importance of Antonio to, to the David Moy system and, you know, what he actually does because Antonio isn't the best goal scorer. You know, he never really has been. Um, it's been a lot of more of other stuff with Antonio that's made the system work. Danny Ings is the complete opposite of that. You know, he was brought in to be a goal scorer, but he just did not just did not fit the system of how Moyes wanted to play unless we were going to go two up top, for example. So how does Mubama then fit into this plan? Because He's been, you know, he's been kept around to play and presumably Moyes thinks he can play the system better than someone like Danny Ings. What's your take on Mubama? Do you think he would be able to play that Antonio role? I think he, it, I think he is definitely more suitable to it than Ings is. And, you know, you're talking about a, a younger player who's faster. In my opinion, he looks just as strong as Danny Ings, but look, good in the air as well so i think he can play the antonio role it's it's a head scratcher as to why he's not starting you know we don't see what's going on, on the training ground but you would have to 
assume that if David Moyes is keeping him around or wanted to keep him around, then he would have been showing enough over the last season or two to warrant inclusion yeah. in the squads. I think that's a good point as well. You know, a lot of the time we kind of sit here and say, you know, he should be playing, but ultimately the manager sees more of a player than us. And if he doesn't think he's ready to do it, then that's on the manager to, to call that. But if Mibama goes on this summer and goes on to do great things at another club, then it's going to be a real, real blow because, you know, that striker position, we've been trying to recruit for how long now? Um, and, you know, Antonio has been the kind of moulded fit into that striker position under David Moyes. And, you know, like I mentioned, he's not that natural goal scorer, but what he does is work very well in the system. Now, as we've seen over the last few years, that is slowly getting worse and he's slowly degrading as a player. Um, so, you know, he's very old now, you know, 33, 34 years old. It's time for him not to, the, you know, the emphasis shouldn't be on him to play every game and perform to the levels he was a few years ago in his, you know, in his prime for West Ham. So Mubama's probably thinking like, what is going on here? Like I should be getting some minutes because, you know, even Danny Ings isn't getting that many minutes, to be honest. Yeah. Like it's, it's if if Antonio hasn't been playing, we've also, you know, not been playing Danny Ings and been playing someone like Jared Bowen striker. So how does Mubama expect to ever get minutes if that's the type of scenarios that are coming up? Well, one of my one of my other worries, just kind of adding to that, is say he gets picked tomorrow night against Arsenal. If Arsenal pick a strong side and we don't score a goal, what does that show us? What does that show us in terms of, of his development? Because you're going to go up against one of the best sides in the league. And let's face it, they're probably going to want to win a cup this year. They're, they're going to want to make a statement somehow. If they can't win the league, although they do look very good, um, you know, they're going to want to win some silverware. So I can't see them going, you know, half arsed into this. I think they'll be a strong side. So what are you, what is he getting from Mubama's performance that, you know, he can he can judge when he's not had minutes under his belt, you know, it's not like he's been coming off the bench and warming up for a start. And we're thinking, OK, you know, that, that all the signs are there for a player. So don't really know what else he can do. As as I did say, like, it's difficult when the manager obviously sees a lot more of the player. But I don't understand what Danny Ings can be doing in training that makes Moyes pick him over Mubama when there's such a rigid system and it's clear I, yeah. that he doesn't work in it. I also so, think I also think it's just because, like we mentioned, the, the fact that Moyes kept Mubama around, you know, on purpose this summer because he wanted to in integrate him more and give him minutes. I think that's the biggest issue most West Ham fans, you know, definitely myself, has with the situation because don't keep him around if you're not going to play him. You know, he could have been on loan this summer, like you mentioned, to a championship team, you know, scoring 15 to 20 goals and developing his his own career and then coming back to a West Ham team where maybe we're looking to to improve that striker position and he's kind of already shown the promising, you know, features of what he can do in, in that role. So he's now just kind of stunting his own progression because of what Moises said in the summer and what Moises wanted to do. So that's where I have my biggest issue with this whole Obama situation. I think... My biggest frustration, it comes down to the whole handling of this club's striker situation. It's not just it's not Mubama's fault, you know, he's been told that he'll get game time. Yeah. And it must be disheartening as a youngster to see Danny Ings starting ahead of you. It's nothing against Danny Ings, it's just he's not working for us, and everyone can see that. So when you are young and you are looking to make your big break in football, yet someone else is repeatedly starting ahead of you, it must be awful because it's such a confidence-based game and such a sort of blow in terms of if they're not even fitting the system you play, yet they're getting ahead of you. I can't imagine what that feels like. Yeah. Um, I, I just think it comes down to the to the wages, to be honest, and what Danny Ings was brought into for the club. Like from a business point of view, if Moyes starts playing Mubama over Ings, there's going to be that dilemma as well. You know, Danny Ings is on extortionate amount of money, and he's not even being used. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna, you know, defend Moyes slightly here and say that I don't believe he'd pick a player just based on wages. Like 
I don't I think, think it's a factor. I think it's a big factor, to be honest. I think I, I look, I think every West Ham fan wants the forwards to score. They want they want a player to do I want Danny Ings to score loads of goals and prove me wrong, just yeah. like James Ward Prowse is doing, you know. I want him to come in and do really well. But he's not. So I think you've got to look at the the situation as a whole. And I can't, I, I feel quite bad for Obama in the fact that, you know, what we should have done is loan him out and we should have signed another striker anyway because it covers this Ings farce that's happening. But it also just, you know, cushions against the fact that if Obama doesn't hit the ground running and isn't, you know, the second coming of Mikel Antonio, then you're, you're not relying on a young player. So yeah. it's it's a tough one, but we could have easily said to him, look, we're going to loan you out to Sunderland. I don't know, like, no disrespect to Sunderland, but, you know, a championship club uh, with lots of young players who play good football. We're going to try and loan you out to them and see what happens. In December or January, that's when we'll get on the line and we'll offer you a new contract if you're doing well. Yeah. Or, or put a pause into it, do something that, you know, guards against the fact that essentially in the last 12 months of your contract, the club is kind of not powerless, but it has very little hold over what happens next. Yeah, no, I completely agree. And, and that's the that's the biggest worry now is that he has kind of rejected that approach of a new contract. And, you know, rightly so, to be honest, if he's not going to get the minutes, then why would he be hanging around? But yeah, let us know what you think in the comments of the whole Mubama situation. Hopefully there is a turn of events and he does end up signing that contract extension and getting the minutes that he deserves. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. And yeah, let us know your comments on the whole situation down below. Um, and yeah, that's going to be all today. Uh, leave a like on the video as always. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And Sloth, until the next one. Come, come on, you lines. <laughs>